Hello everyone, it's Velmont Draconis. Coming at you again for a quick update on Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer. Uh, this weekend's Apex mission. I'm going to go over it, but in all honesty, I'm not going to run it today. I'm not. I'm not going to run it this weekend. And that's just because... I simply don't feel like it. I mean, it's today alone, it's getting late. It's like after 4 o'clock. It's almost 4.30 on Sunday. It's late. I've been busy. I've, I've had a long weekend. Um, not only that, but like I, I seriously just did not want to get into it. Like, I'm not playing Andromeda as much as I'd like to. I've been busy with a lot of other stuff, and when I've been playing games lately, it's been Samurai Warrior Spirit of the Sonata. Uh, but the main reason why I'm probably not going to be doing it this weekend is the fact that it's a gold mission. Um, I have some level 20 characters, I certainly could do it, but weapon drops have not been very kind to me. I don't really have very good weapons that would carry me through gold. Um, basically, all of my uncommon gear, the two-star gear, is like all level one. It's all shit. Uh, last weekend I tried with the Matic, and I survived alright, but that was only a silver difficulty mission. And this is gold, and not just that, but it gets worse because this mission is actually not the normal seven waves, but eleven waves. Yes. So it's it's extended waves. It's gonna be eleven waves long. It's against the cat. And I hear it's extremely fucking difficult. And honestly, I'm just not up to par. I'm I'm not up for that. And considering I haven't been playing as much. I, I just, I, I can't do it. I, I don't feel like wasting my time. I know I'm going to die. Because I know, I've read that a lot of people have been having issues with this mission. Uh, being it's the cat, they get synced killed by the fiend. Or run away from the fiend only to get grabbed by an ascendant. And the fact that a lot of people are not cooperating or playing very well on public. And it's the weekend, and it's just the numbers of, of reliable, good players on the weekends are just not as good. It's summertime, less people play, which is to be expected. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just, at this point, like, I'm not going to do it. But I still want to go into it and discuss it, just because I want to cover my bases into something that, you know, like, I have been covering it every weekend every mission i've already sent uh strike team on it so i already did complete it even if i didn't personally do it but it is complete on my end um so we're gonna get in, into the details of this apex mission and i believe this is 11 yeah i think it's 11 just gonna, sorry, we'll back up for a second. Yeah, it ends tomorrow morning at 9. Alright, so it is called Don't Go Looking for Trouble. Mass Effect Andromeda Apex Mission Brief 11, Don't Go Looking for Trouble. Let's watch the video together. We interrupt Drell, the Hanar conspiracy, to bring you breaking news. Apex forces are cornered near Nangaran water processing operation on Firebase Aqua. Apex teams were engaged with an extremist Rokar cell when Ket troops appeared and launched a surprise nighttime assault. The combined attacks have cut the Apex team off from supplies, reinforcements, and communication. Apex HQ has confirmed that its troops can't be evacuated from the area until sunrise. Stay tuned to HNS for breaking news on this developing conflict. God damn. That's some shit right there. As usual, the mission brief will be included in, in the comment section, or not comment, the detail section of the video. Uh, here's the new item for this weekend. 
is the pistol and submachine gun amp. So that's new. Last weekend's was the armor components. The map is Firebase Aqua. But apparently it is a nighttime mission. And there's the special modifier on, on the mission. New expanded waves of battle. Your team will face its greatest challenge yet. As together you fight through the first of its kind. An unprecedented fight where you face 11 waves of enemies. Including fighting a major new boss. The Cat Commander. Bring your best weapons boost and your ability to work together as a team to fight through this challenge. And come through it successfully. Yeah I'm sorry but that. To me that just does not sound very fucking good. Especially not in a public when you can't really rely on a lot of people to pull their own weight. Uh, I've run into enough issues with people. I, you know, I don't mind trying to freaking help people and bring people up. I mean, look at last weekend's match uh, at Icebreaker when I had the medic. I mean, I've resurrected quite a few people, if I recall correctly. I mean, it's been a week, so maybe I'm... Um, getting it confused with another match but i recall actually getting a um revive uh medal for that one and that's not something that i've gotten a lot within like 30 40 out 40 hours of gameplay in multiplayer yes i've only done like 40 hours <laughs> nowhere near as much as other people i've been very busy um but yeah i mean like i'm saying like I, I, that's not something that I see or experience often, and, and I myself, if I'm playing and I go down, and I know that I'm being reckless or I'm doing things my own, I'm trying to hold my own, I don't expect anybody to come over and help me. I, I don't, I'm already a burden on teammates enough if I'm doing my own thing. So the last thing I'm going to do is expect somebody else to break off what they're doing, come over, revive me, and put themselves in danger. When I've already, you know, I'm already trying to hold my own enough, just like everyone else. So if I go down, I'm not afraid to use items to heal myself or revive myself. But I've seen a lot of people that play that are so afraid of pressing that, that freaking down button for the revive pack or whatever you know they're afraid to use items like items are so freaking easy to come by it's not funny and now we got that that new um that pack a few weeks ago The Jumbo Supply Pack, for that 10,000 credits, you automatically open up, like, you get five of each. Five of each supply item and five random boosters for 10,000. That is 15 minutes of your time. That is, that is a bronze match. That's it. That's a bronze match. There's no excuse why somebody can't use items to take care of themselves. There really isn't. It's alright if you're in a group and everything is so close quarters and everybody can take care of each other, but when nobody does that, nobody wants to use an item, that's a problem. That becomes an issue. And I've read a little bit about the match before going into it, and it's public, and a lot of people are experiencing that, so... I'm just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to take my chance today. I have no problem using the items myself, but I'd rather... I wish I had enough friends who play Mass Effect and are active that I could actually count on people to join with. Um, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna finish off the, the description or the match modifiers so that I can finish up this video, post it up. And we'll call it a day. So the modifiers for this match are go for the eyes, which is plus 200% weapon weak point bonus and minus 50% weapon damage and empty resupply, which is plus 800% maximum ammo and plus 8 power resources. And the ammo boxes do not give ammo or resources. And the rewards is plus 25% experience and credits. Now, of course, also there is the expanded waves where you're going to 11 instead of 7. Um, the other thing that I've seen that people have been complaining about as an issue with this one is the go for the eyes. 
the you're already you're losing it's a gold match a fucking gold match and you're losing 50 percent weapon damage and you're supposed to rely heavily on weak point bonus damage um a lot of people were complaining that that's an issue because you're already losing so much damage you're already losing damage like scale wise in comparison because it's gold and then on top of that you're losing damage because of the modifier and apparently with the connections that some people have not every not every weak point hit is registering as a weak point hit and a lot of people were having issues with that and yeah that's that's quite an issue i think that's that's a very frustrating problem and that's yet another reason why I, I just I'm not gonna do it I just don't have the time or patience and I'm not feeling well enough for that so but still you know I wanted to, to do this post this video out there and I hope that anybody who's done it this weekend you know who managed to get it done you know congratulations I hope that anybody who still has yet to do it within the next 24 hours until it's done you know I wish you luck on that one so uh you know go out there and go kill some cat